Let's now discuss Chapter 25 with diseases of the digestive system. To discuss the diseases of the digestive system, we need to discuss a little bit of common terminology first. Now the first thing to understand as we go through the diseases of the digestive system, most of these diseases are going to be transmitted fecal oral. And if you think about the reason for that, that is the beginning and the end of your digestive system. So we're usually going to see someone getting the disease by ingesting the disease or the infection then moves through their digestive tract and it exits their body through their feces. So then to infect another person, you're going to have that fecal oral transmission. Now, diseases of the digestive system, many of you may think, are extremely common because most of us have probably had some sort of food poisoning in our life. However, since we have learned a lot of things about sanitation of public restrooms as well as improved all of our sewage treatment processes, we really don't see quite as many severe digestive system diseases in the United States. So some of these infections we will discuss, they do not happen in the United States anywhere near as common as other countries that do not have the same sanitation levels or ability to treat sewage and, and different things like that. Now as we discuss the different diseases, anytime you hear the word infection, that tells us that the pathogen has entered the digestive system and is beginning to multiply. And intoxication tells us that we have not ingested a pathogen, we have instead ingested a toxin. And this is sometimes the cause of what many of you know as food poisoning. You do not have to actually ingest a living pathogen. You simply have to ingest a toxin that was made by a pathogen in the food. One of the most common signs that a digestive system disease is occurring is diarrhea. Diarrhea itself can be caused by infection or intoxication. A less common